hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert time values into database in PHP so guys let's get started so let's move to our editor over here guys I am using bootstrap 5 version to use the or design the form so let's get started with it so let's create a form where and inside this I want to create one input box so let's create a label and inside this name and then input dot form form hyphen control where this name is equal to your name will be and then let's copy again and paste back for the time so let's make this as time t i m e time and here we are going to enter the time let's make this also as time and create one button to submit this so form hyphen group where this button name and button save time give a class to design this button button primary and now let me just give a little space between this margin bottom 3 and make this button type which is as submit that's it so let's see the output of it guys refresh okay so this is the time now we are going to select over here so once you click this the date should enter that so you can see here time is showing in uh, am and pm format but when you insert over here here it accepts in a uh, 24 format 24 hours format so guys let's uh, start with it so first let us move to a form over here let's go to method method which is post and where I want to go to code.php file so let's copy this button name we have to give that button name save underscore time we will give let's copy this button name and go to code.php with the help of post method and this post method will take your all your input values so let's go first copy and go to code.php so guys to check that button is clicked or not so you will use if condition inside that is set function so where you can check the button with the post method and now once the button is clicked you will be inside this if condition so over here we are going to access all the names so you will give dollar underscore post of your input box name so let us copy that name attribute value of your input and paste same way we are going to take that time value also let's copy this time and set that's it so now guys to store this values into your database let's move to our database and create one column into your table so i have already created a demo table where we need one more column called time so let's go on structure and add that it's loading so let's add after name we are going to click and then go over here add the field called time so my column name is time and over here we are going to select time okay not timestamp where is time okay here it is so let's select this time and then value don't require it will allow automatically so let's click on save done let's view that over here you can see that time format has come so guys now let's enter this data into a db let's move let's write a query or a statement to insert that data let's write insert into table name so my table is nothing but demo and your column names and then your values which will be the input values so now let's enter the first column names let's copy this and paste over here let's give comma and this values so first is name so you need to copy that first value dollar name inside single quotes you have to paste and then again comma and then give inside single quotes you are going to copy this time and paste over here 
that's it so now let's run this query above query statement is equal to how will you run with the mysqli query function with this help of function we are going to execute this above statement so let's copy that over here and paste oops before that you need to give a database connection so make sure you are giving a connection so i have already given the connection over here just put that your connection and then execute this so we will execute using the if condition if it is success it will show this else it will show this part so let's check that with this dollar query run where if the query is successful then it will show let's use session to print the message session where i am going to set the value as status where you can tell time value inserted successfully after that let's move to same page using header location so inside this header location where i want to go this to this page time.php file time.php file let's copy this and paste it again and here time value not inserted and let's save this so guys to check this state as and all you need to make sure you have start the session and let's to view this on your this time.php you need to start the session over here also so let's start that session over here and now guys you need to show that so i have already done some code to show the message let me just paste over here okay so this is a simple code to show the whatever status we have set it will echo and unset that value so guys now let us test with it so let's get back to a browser and let's enter that so where i'm going to give that with prakash n and the time will be we are going to select the 2 over here and it will be pm so 2 pm means which means that it is 14 hours so let us see what the time it stores let's click on save time value inserted successfully and now let us see in our db over here so it stores the correct value you can see that it is converted into this 24 hours format so guys our time is perfectly inserted so let's get back and here guys in this video that's it we have completed our how to insert time values into database in php so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share